Yay. We go together like rama lama 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 yippity ding ding dong. Okay. <clears throat> As human beings, we're made to be in relationship. We don't have to look too far or dig too deep to realize the truth of this reality. We can simply look at the world around us and recognize that as men and women, we're drawn to be together, to be in relationship with one another. And it's not just because we're weak and wounded and as a result of which we need to rely on people for a time. Our lives are communal. They're um, for communion from start to finish, from top to bottom. It's that we're actually made to come into the fullness of the truth, the fullness of the good, hand in hand, side by side, together as human beings. Because without that, or kind of set apart from that, we'll find ourselves not just slumping into sadness and depression, but also deprived of what it means to be human, losing a grip on our very humanity. It's not just a sociological statement of fact, but even a theological statement of fact. If we look at who God is in himself, in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, there we see a divine relationship, a divine communion. And from that relationship, from the Godhead, pours forth creation. We can turn to the first pages of scripture and see in Genesis that God created Adam and Eve together as companions to journey along the way, to have each other, but ultimately to go with each other to God. And herein lies the reality, the foundation of friendship and good friendship. We can look again at our lives and begin to recognize that, yes, we're called to relationship, to communion, ultimately to friendship. So what are some markers of good friendship? I think in this, you know, you can maybe set out different markers in like a, a list or in a, a well-reasoned fashion, or you can also gather the same information from the lives of those holy men and women who have gone before us. Let's take one at complete random, St. Augustine. So St. Augustine had a variety of relationships that blessed his life beyond compare. We think often of St. Monica, whose tears produced his penitence. So she, she suffered for him, she prayed for him, she fasted for him, she interceded on his behalf for many, many years, and as a result of which, his conversion comes about. Or we can think about St. Ambrose, his bishop while he was in Milan, whose preaching helped to clarify his confused notions about sacred scripture and the way that it describes God and creation. But there's also a friendship at the heart of his conversion, namely his friendship with St. Olypius. So he had been his student and they became close companions, but it was often enough St. Olypius' testimony of the life of virtue which motivated or animated St. Augustine to live a life more in accord with the call that had a hold on him more and more with each passing year. And so he came to discover that his yes to the Lord became easy when he was able to offer it in communion with those who loved him. When we look at the world around us or listen to what it has to say, it offers a whole host of differing and often confusing opinions on what true good relationships and friendships look like. Ultimately, as men and women, we're made for relationships that lead us to God where we can look at our creator together and pursue him, supporting one another in the growth of virtue and the pursuit of goodness, strengthening each other where we find ourselves weak or in need. All of this, all of this spills forth from a Trinitarian life into the way in which we're created as men and women, ultimately made to share life with God. Father Gregory mentioned St. Augustine in the Confessions, and this fall we're launching our second season of Ascension Presents Catholic Classics to read through St. Augustine's confessions, the testimony, the story of his life and conversion, the story of his friendships with others, and ultimately his friendship with God. To follow along and to get the reading plan, you can visit ascensionpress.com slash catholicclassics, and we look forward to all of you joining us there.